हमेशा चाहता हूं क्योंकि बहुत दिनों के बाद लाइव शोज करने का हम सबको मौका मिला है साथ में बैठने का मौका मिला है तो टू गेट वॉर्म अप हावर्ड वी गिव अ सेल्स राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज थोड़ी ताली बज सकती है यहां पर थोड़ा बहुत थोड़ा गर्म करते हैं जी रैक्स हाँ ये चलेगा ये चलेगा वेरी वेल डन वेरी वेल डन और गाइस लेट्स गेट द बॉल रोलिंग लेट्स गेट द शो स्टार्टेड वी हैव सम फैबुलस इंडिविजुअल्स एज आई सेड अर्ली गुड बी ऑन दिस वेरी स्टेज और कुछ ऐसे लोग हैं जो एक डिफरेंट अरीना में एंटर करने वाले हैं वो ग्राउंड पे जरूर खेल चुके हैं लेकिन ओ टी पे अपना डेब्यू करेंगे तो उनसे भी हम मिलेंगे इस मंच पे बट फॉर स्टार्टर्स आई एम नॉट वेस्ट एनी टाइम आई एम इनवाइट आर फर्स्ट गेस्ट ऑन स्टेज फर्स्ट मैन ऑफ द डे गौरव रक्षित सीओ ओ वाई कॉम एटीन डिजिटल वेंचर जोरदार तालियां हो जाए इनके लिए How are you doing, Gaurav? How's it going? This is like a stadium atmosphere, right in the middle of this fabulous launch. This is incredible, Samir. I don't know how you pull this off. This is looking quite interesting, guys. I hope you're all feeling comfortable. I think that some Samir's got an incredible evening planned for you. Uh, I certainly do, and of course, uh, you know, there's so much great work that's going on your platform. Tell us a bit about what's happening and what's in store for us in the near future. Sure. So uh it's really a privilege to be here in front of all of you all to talk about the next chapter in the journey that is Voot. Over the years we've brought you the best of entertainment, jaw dropping digital originals. We've had the best kids content and tunes on the platform. We've also put some marquee international shows. Hopefully, some of you have seen those. Recently, we started a journey in sports as Viacom 18, and so we've been hosting some of the largest sporting leagues across the world on Voot. In fact, the largest pride moment for us in recent times is uh, live streaming the Thomas Cup. How many of you saw the Thomas Cup, guys? Anybody over here saw Tom, the Thomas Cup in India achieve the unthinkable? It was a really, really big moment for us, and uh, as, as sports fans as well as Indians, uh, to come away with that. We've been known as Voot to always try and push the envelope, to always do something different. Voot Select, you mentioned Samir. Voot Select was launched right in the beginning of lockdown. Very, very tough time. Uh, not knowing where our teams were going to be to bring a brand new service up, very very difficult. Uh, we put out the first, I think, in the world, uh, digital original, full format digital original, which was completely remotely shot, socially distanced, only a camera and the actor together. Uh, last year we put together Big Boss OTT. Again, for the first time, a marquee piece of content from television was moved and taken exclusively on digital. So it was a pretty big bet that we took, and uh, that's I think the the digital way. You keep trying to bring more and more to your audiences. Today we have for you Bandho Me Tha Dam, what we think is an incredibly innovative attempt to bring you. the story of an epic battle that many of you know and remember but told in such a truly unique way from the lens of the people that were out on the ground i really hope you enjoy it guys enjoy the rest of the show back to you sameer thank you so much gorav and was that the the hoots are getting louder the hoots are getting louder how are you feeling my dear friend hoot 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 select <laughs> and you have selected a great day now he's got us piqued our interest he's given us an insight on there's something grand about to happen today are you going to let the cat out of the bag or are you going to tell us a bit more in keep us more in suspense before you do that <clears throat> no i think uh, i think gorov talked a lot about uh, how we've grown uh, quite successfully over the last couple of years since we launched uh, it's been an amazing ride for both select um, happy to uh, to share with you guys that that we are by far the fastest growing premium video entertainment service in india uh, so that's the great news there's a lot of stuff that we've been doing um, in a variety of of genres of content ranging from originals to reality to 
um, our recent foray into sports, a lot of international content, um, but all that's for another day. Uh, all I can say to you is that what we have today is the start of what will be possibly the largest uh, slate of top quality content that the country will see over the next 12 months. But more on that on another occasion. Today is all about Bando Metha Dam. Yeah. And um, it's, it's a series that's very, very close to our hearts. Uh, it's our first special event series. Um, we've done lots of originals, like I said. Uh, this one's the most original uh, out of all of them. It's, uh, it, it's um, and I can't wait for everyone to see it. We've seen it, we love it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a story that, that really deserves to be told and um, you know, every Indian deserves to really see what happened on that tour of Australia. Uh, so more of that, we'll show you a lot more of that today. You know, there was, uh, there was uh, it's my honor and pleasure to, uh, to invite on stage the creator, the director of, uh, of this very, very special series. Uh, like you said, he needs no introduction. We've all been fans of his work for, for years now. Uh, uh, it's, it's beautiful that, that when, uh, you know, uh, somebody who's such a great storyteller also has another very strong passion, and that seems to be cricket. Uh, so I sometimes, I never asked him this question, and maybe we'll ask him this today. I, I actually don't know whether he's more passionate about filmmaking or... Uh, cricket. Uh, so without any further ado, uh, it's my honor and privilege to call on stage the creator, the director, uh, Mr. Neeraj Pandey. Welcoming Neeraj Pandey on his very stage, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being with us. Thank Neeraj. you for having me. And thank you for partnering with us at Booth Select on this very magical story. It's uh, been a pleasure, uh, Farzad. I'm looking forward to this one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we had a quick question for you. It just struck me while I was talking. I heard. Oh, you already stage. heard that. Okay. So are <laughs> in the same hall. <laughs> so, so, do, so do you want to answer that one? Uh, obviously, filmmaking now. Uh, cricket hota to desh ka bada nuksan ho jata. <laughs> so it's better that I stick to filmmaking. So you're living it voyeuristically through storytelling. Absolutely, absolutely. These, these are great stories and um, I think the, the subject of this particular documentary is something that, uh, that's very close to us and uh, yeah, can't wait to show it to the world. Awesome. Great to have you with us. To you, Samir. You have right, sir, one. Thank you for being out here. We're so intrigued about what we're about to see. A little bit of an insight, a little bit of an insight into what we can expect in this, uh, in this entire series. Uh, you can expect a, a fantastic story which could be uh, not scripted any better. It's an impossible story as the trailer claims and uh, a story about tenacity, a story about not giving up and a story about how leadership can take you places. So it's an amazing, amazing story for us. All right, I guess we're good to go then. Should we... We've uh, got a big moment coming up. We have a big moment coming up and uh, we have the heroes of this story who are present here, sir, with us. Were, so were they very well-behaved heroes? Were they well-behaved on set when they were shooting, sir? Sorry? The heroes of this story, when they were shooting with you, were they very well-behaved on set when, when, when they were there? Uh, apart from the hair game, which is amazing. <laughs> so uh, all of them were a delight to work with. I mean, and uh, we had very little time and uh, the way they sort of got back in flashback mode and uh, went with the flow, spoke about stuff that's very, it's a very emotional experience for most of them. And uh, I, I'm sure that uh, this documentary does justice to that story because it's going to stay with them forever now and it's going to be there for posterity. We're looking forward to it. Acha, ab jin bandho mein tha dam, wo desh ke kone kone se hamare beech mein aa chuke hain, wo yahan maujood hain. So cameramen, it's time to get your focus going. For the still photographers, well, it's time to uncap your lenses. And we're about to unleash your way. The Yodhas, who made their way towards this wonderful, grand occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, Zordar Taliyon se swagat karenge Bharat ki aan, maan, aur shaan. 
the cricketers who represent India in the highest format of the game. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of voting and that's a lot of good voting at that. Welcome karte hai humare yodhaon ko jin bandon mein tha dam. Thank you guys for coming out here. And of course uh, a lot of them were saying you know that uh, the arena we are comfortable with is in the ground. So Jinx, we have created the ground atmosphere only for you out here. The voting is on, the hairdo is also on. Wo lal bande ko dekh lijiye wahan par aur kafi yahan chilla rahe hain log. So we're keeping you comfortable. How are you feeling today? बहुत टाइम होगा सर फोटो आपके लिए बहुत सारा टाइम होगा लेते रहिए चलिए ठीक है लेते रहिए And all of you, obviously, given your piece to camera, we have talked about the entire experience you had in that crazy, wonderful series. I mean, well, you've not you've not seen the the trailer yet. What what are you what are you expecting of it? I generally, generally, you're making me feel like an actor now. Like after finishing the movie and then going and seeing the movie. Well, it is your debut on the OTT platform, <laughs> <in> some way <laughs> as well, isn't it? Yeah, sort of. I would, I'd like to think so, but I'm glad I've come out with my friends. My best friend Puji is here. Both of us have made an appearance in the in the documentary, and I'm sure he's spoken a lot of good things about me. Look forward to. He has only <laughs> spoken about you. There's so much bromance going on between the both of them. If you could get you an insight into what's happening at the back and the chats that are going on between Puji and uh, Ashwin, dear sir, you must consider this as your dear sir. You must consider the next series between the bromance of Puji and uh, Ravi Chandra Ashwin. Yes, we have got about 40 minutes of footage of uh, Pujara talking about it. Wow, there you go. There you go. Is that enough? <laughs> I think he's got more. He can definitely do better, but I think uh -huh. him being him, I, I I think 40 is a lot. No, but like there 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 seasons also. Not only season two. No, we saw, so I think we can do an eight episodes. <laughs> Up to you. Noted. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Prasad, well, I guess the stage is set. Ayodhya is here. Are you ready for this? Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I you know thank you guys for for being with us today. I know some of you, or maybe all of you, haven't seen the trailer as yet, um, and it's it's going to shock you. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to bring back a lot of emotions. So, without any further ado, yeah, in a good way. Without any further ado, uh, I'm going to hand over to Neeraj to. Let's see the trailer. Let's see the trailer. Yeah. Sure. If you guys, if you guys Requesting you all to come to that side and this side. Please, Neeraj sir, please come in. I mean, that's just amazing. You could sense by the reaction and just. Like reliving the entire thing, sir. It's looking fabulous. It's looking Thank amazing. You, Want to get the first-hand reaction? Um, how are you feeling, Puji? How are you feeling after watching that? First of all, uh, very good evening to everyone. Uh, it's amazing. I think uh, it could have couldn't have been better than this. Uh, as players, uh, the way we performed over there, 
I think uh, after that, uh, the way we shared our story and uh, the execution part over here, it's, it's uh, thrilling. Siraj is a very emotional man. He is very fast, he is very fast, he is very fast, he is very fast, he is very fast. How do you feel about this promo? First of all, but thank you for making us so proud. And Anuman, how did you feel by, by watching that? Does it make you relive all those memories that, uh, that have been etched in our minds? Yeah, definitely. It, it was uh, one of the best series uh, India has ever played. And uh, to see, again, to relive those memories has it's been amazing. And the trailer looks good. And we're really waiting for June 16. All right, thank you so much. We're going to be having a wonderful chat with our cricketers. Once again, a round of applause for them, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it, it brings back a lot of emotions to us, but, but it was them who withstood the storm. Ifazar, thank you so much for being on stage with us. We're going to have a nice chat with our cricketers. We'll join you in just a bit when you can come back for a nice photo op. Can we have the chairs, please? Uh, we're going to get the chairs on stage. Alinija, photo later, you? Kursi like the English. Just get the chairs for everybody, please. Yeah. But, but, uh, so please, can you go and send for a picture? All right, please get questions about, I mean, what went on then. But before that, from a director's perspective, sir, you are such a wonderful master teller of stories, the, the layers in which you work in your movies. When, when you look at this entire, entire incident as, as a script, as a narrative about the ups and downs of what happened, backs against the wall, coming back, players getting injured, how difficult was it for you to put it together as a series that people could relive it all over again? So I'll tell you the origin story of this one. It's pretty interesting. Uh, this was the third test when you guys were on the field and uh, uh, the last day when uh, Ashwin and uh, Vihari, they were slogging it out, taking blows and stuff like that. And when you guys managed to draw that test, Sudeep, can you raise your hand over there? Yeah, Sudeep, uh, essentially, uh, he's one of the producers. He came and said that this is a great story. And uh, I just impulsively replied, no, the great story will happen if they win the fourth test. And uh, no one had a clue. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure that you guys were also uh, clueless about what's going to unfold. But that, in a way, was the origin point of the story. So uh, the fourth test happened, and the very next day he was making calls to everyone and trying to figure out how to piece this together. But you have a long-lasting love for cricket, is, and, and tell us a bit about that. Well, everyone loves cricket, I guess, in some way or the other. I mean, uh, I, I find these stories fascinating uh, more than uh, the fact that, uh, okay, cricket to kuch banana hai, I don't go by that. Uh, but this, this particular milestone, uh, I think that's needed to be documented in some way or the other. And uh, I'm happy that uh, we partnered with Voto on this one and had this incredible journey. We're looking forward to the four-part series, sir. Thank you. Um, let's talk to Kaptan from, from the series, Rahaneji. Let's just talk about the fact that, you know, we, we, were, we were having a laugh of this when we were sh shooting for some content in the other room about uh, the team coming into his hands when they were 36 all out in that first test. And, and Virat had to leave and he obviously knew that he had to leave. But that must have been a very hard situation for you to kind of deal with, to get your head around that, Listen, we have our backs against the wall. We can try forgetting about this, but this is the reality. How did you deal with that situation there? What were you really thinking of? And how did you, I, I know that you got the senior guys together in the team, but what was your mindset then? First of all, let me thank Neeraj sir uh, for watching that uh, third test match. If we didn't see match, we didn't have thought of making a documentary. Thank so, you. Thank you for that. But I think talking about Adelaide test match, 36 all out, we didn't think about it. 
शायद मतलब आप लोगों ने भी यही सोचा था कि ऐसे सब होगा हमारा यही था कि अगर हम अच्छा खेलते हैं उस दिन पर तो हम लोग एक अच्छे पोजिशन में आ जाएंगे मैच जीतने के लिए बट सडनली चीज़ें डिफरेंट हो गई एक घंटे में गेम कम्प्लीटली चेंज हो गया और मुझे पता था उससे पहले कि हेडलेट के बाद मैं कप्तान होने वाला हूँ विराट जाने वाले हैं तो मैंने अपने प्लान्स एज ए लीडर एज ए कैप्टन पहले बनाए थे कि मेरे स्ट्रैटेजिस क्या होंगे लेकिन हेडलेट के बाद कम्प्लीटली मैं पता नहीं चल रहा था कि क्या होगा मुझे क्या करना है और पर्सनली मैं रूम पे जाके मैं बैठा रहा मैंने सोच मैंने सोचा कि अभी यहाँ से मैं टीम को कैसे ऊपर लाऊँगा बहुत लोग मेरे पर्सनल परफॉर्मेंस के बारे में बात कर रहे थे मेरा फॉर्म अच्छा बुरा अच्छा बुरा चल रहा था वो एक चीज़ वो एक चीज़ थी और उसके बाद आ, मेरा फोकस था कि मैं टीम कैसे टीम को कैसे ऊपर लाऊँ वहाँ से तो हमने एज ए टीम यही डिसाइड किया कि एडलेट में वी विल नॉट टॉक अबाउट क्रिकेट एट ऑल कि क्या हुआ इस मैच में विल हैव टीम डिनर विल हैव टीम एक्टिविटी सो दैट हमारा माइंड कम्प्लीटली गेम गेम से दूर जाके हम टीम बॉन्डिंग के ऊपर फोकस करें और जब हम मेलबर्न जाएंगे उसके बाद विल फोकस ऑन आ क्रिकेट सो विद इन दैट विराट को हमने सेंड ऑफ सेंड ऑफ दिया और जा रहे थे वहाँ पर तो और जब वेन वी वेंट टू मेलबर्न वी वी हैव टीम मीटिंग एंड वी डिसाइडेड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन प्लेइंग गुड क्रिकेट वॉट पीपल आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अस इट्स इट्स नॉट इन आर कंट्रोल वी जस्ट फोकस ऑन प्लेइंग गुड क्रिकेट बैक टू चल रहा एंड आई थॉट आई आर सपोर्ट अश्विन का मुझे सपोर्ट था पूजी का सपोर्ट था रोहित वॉज देर रोहित का सपोर्ट था सो दैट वी ब्लेस टू हैव दिस गाइज Well, it was remarkable what you pulled off, and of course, scoring that century there was just incredible. Uh, round of applause for Jake Kiarani. Yaha par aaj taniya kam nahi honi chahiye, because truly it was uh, incredible. I just to set the text of you know how tough this was to do. Uh, Ashwin, I want to ask you, like just in terms of India-Pakistan, of course, has been this rivalry going on for many, many years. But just how tough is it if you can explain to people playing in Australia against the Australians in their home turf? and and the entire experience that goes with that see generally uh, those tours abroad are never easy for the simple reason that you are going into different conditions that's uh, that's something that's not explainable until you go and play you will never feel that but uh, more than that it's the support of the public it's you you're playing against the media there you're playing against the senior players who are going to be backing their teams it happens a lot especially in australia um, the people that, if you're down they can make you feel you know you're going to be you're going to be in a lot of trouble for the next few weeks and that's exactly what happened here in australia as well uh, a lot of people might have seen what happened on social media and what sort of comments people had to make uh, personally i don't know how many of the other guys would have read into it but these things really uh, you know sort of give me the necessary motivation to come out and say okay boss you're wrong we can do it we are here to do it but i don't know if it's there as a part of the documentary but i felt there was there was a sort of a you know a very external aid that came our way because we wanted to do it but at the end of the day there is these are these one percenters that will tell you that this will happen we won the test in melbourne yes that was the turn around but i don't know how many guys remember here we were on a flight to uh, sydney i actually felt okay we come back and this flight was landing in sydney and we got stuck in a thunder shower and uh, it was in it was in the midst of a lightning and all that and the flight was actually going in different directions i felt okay this if this is what is destiny you <laughs> lose a test for 36 and you come to melbourne in a remarkable turnaround test and then you might not land in sydney for the third test <laughs> that kind of gives you a gist of what's uh, what life is all about so uh, the moment i think everything came to settling nerves and we all landed and the sydney test panned out there was a lot of back story to it but by the time we had come there i think the resolve of the team had strengthened a lot and uh, it became the resolve of this indian team versus anything that was thrown at it and i could i could i could still remember the fact that uh, the team was almost oblivious to anything that was happening and it was meant to be they were turbulent times and uh, ash they were also uh, they were also turbulent times that you faced but very nicely conquered behind the stumps where you provided pain behind the stumps to the pain tell us a bit about that but very quick on the wit i must say huh? very quick on the wit and how and what you said at that moment but just define that for us and what really went on i think uh, bihari will remember why i said that as well because uh, we had a discussion on the way tim pain was batting through that series and i kept telling these guys and we we got a we got a very different sort of a short leg position uh, which was forward short leg and then we usually have a leg slip but I, we had a chat rahane myself and bihari and we said pujara generally will stand at leg slip but this guy won't stand with the helmet let's put him somewhere else and get this guy under the lid we had this conversation and parked him there in a very awkward position and he actually nicked off there and we had a celebration and i told bihari 
this guy better not come to India. Because if he actually comes to India, he'll be going there every single time. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he was having a go at us when we were batting. And it just came out of my mind. Because we had had a conversation like that, it just came out of my mind and it just it was very instantaneous. That's what you do to uh, Puji also, you know, when you talk to him. Whatever he says, I, you come back at him like that. But in a friendly way. We sledge each other in the net. All the time. Yeah. Correct. Now, I have to ask uh, Hanuman Bihari, have you forgiven him for making you run on that day with the hamstring gone? Have you forgiven him or not? Yeah, I did after the innings, you know. Uh, but uh, he didn't know, he didn't knew that uh, I couldn't run, uh, I couldn't run at all. Even I didn't know at that time. I, after, after that run, then I said, you know, I could barely walk, so there's uh, no point of running after that. But uh, yeah, uh, that was a, l a lucky escape there, but uh, uh, after all, it ended well, so. Yeah, you had us all at the edge of our seats, the both of you. You held the fort till the end. It was incredible that performance by you. And what I knew before we were talking about dressing room, that we are not able to play in our own place. Their teammates were also sitting in their seats and sitting in their seats for 5-5 hours. Nobody moved, nobody went to the bathroom, as Ajinkya was telling us. So the nerves are with us and the nerves are also with them. So it was absolutely remarkable what happened. Let's, uh, let's talk to the man now who can endure a lot of pain on his body who can uh, probably be hit by a truck, who can be hit by an aeroplane, who can be hit by anything in the world, and that's Cheteshwar Pujara, who stood tall and said, I'm not going to leave my wicket. I, if I can't hit it to the bat, I'm going to put my body in there. How badly were you bruised at the end of, uh, of the matches when you'd walk back into the room? Were there spots all over the body? Tell us your condition at the end of the day. Uh, I think uh, let's just stick to cricket ball, not the trucks and the planes. Uh, but uh, yeah, when I got hit in that particular test match, there were so many bruises. But in, at the end of the day, uh, you know, when I spoke to my family, when I spoke to my wife, when I spoke to my daughter, they were a little concerned. They were worried that uh, if there was anything serious and I told them, uh, no, there wasn't nothing, there was nothing serious about it. Uh, yes, I was in a lot of pain, but it was a sweet pain because it was a sweet victory for us. I think probably one of the best test matches I've been part of. So yeah, when you get hit on the body, uh, the only thing you can do is uh, not think about it and have a bigger picture. Only thing I had in my mind in that particular test match was to, you know, ensure that we don't lose too many wickets in first and second session. Uh, and that was part of uh, our game plan as well. And uh, by the tea time, uh, we didn't lose too many wickets. There was a platform set for Rishabh to come in and, you know, play his game. But till then, I mean, whenever I was getting hit on my body, I wanted to show that, make sure that uh, we don't lose that test match. Till that time, we were not thinking about the victory. Maybe at tea time, there was another strategy. But before that, we wanted to make sure that we don't lose that particular test match. And when I get hit on the body, I just kept telling myself that, uh, you know, look at the bigger picture. Don't worry about the pain. Yeah. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Also, uh, Pujara, I want to ask you, how was it to bat with Rishabh Pant on the other side? You both were in different gears, but equally effective. What were you chatting with each other? Were you calming him down, saying that, but he calmed down, I, abhi bahut match I, baki hai? I try my best to calm him down, but he, everyone knows that he doesn't listen too much about what, what the non-striker says. Uh, but he has a, his way of batting. I think uh, he uh, likes to, you know, back his instincts and play his shots. So sometimes, yes, I do uh, try and tell him that uh, there are phases where you need to be a little watchful. But apart from that, you just have to allow him to play his game uh, and not try and advise him too much. Because uh, whenever we had a good partnership, the lesser I talked, uh, better he has batted. So, yeah. It was like two people poles apart, but getting the job done. It was a phenomenal performance uh, by the both of them. Let's talk about Siraj. Ki. Siraj, how are you? इन्होंने बताया भाई कि ये जो हर एक मैच के पहले हैं इनका सुपरस्टेशन होता है कि अपने बालों को अलग तरीके से ग्रूम करके आते हैं और इतने शानदार लगते हैं एक बार इनकी परफॉर्मेंस के लिए जोरदार तालियां हो जाएं जिस तरीके से इन्होंने परफॉर्म किया डेब्यू किया था और बहुत ही मुश्किल परिस्थितियों में थोड़ा इमोशनल सवाल है लेकिन मैं आपसे पूछना चाहूंगा क्योंकि हम वी ऑल फेल्ट यू नो वट वॉट यू आर गोइंग थ्रू But वो दौर आपके लिए कितना मुश्किल होगा कि you know you found out about your father और आपको जाके फिर match खेलना है जा नहीं पा रहे थे आप वो वो दौर बहुत मुश्किल रहा होगा आपके लिए we were all praying for you but if you could tell us a bit about that बहुत ही मुश्किल था मेरे लिए वो situation तब IPL में भी मेरे dad की तबीयत बहुत ही खराब थी but मुझे उतना बता रहे नहीं थे घर में के कि इतना serious matter है तो इसलिए मुझे पता नहीं चला अगर मुझे पता चलता था तभी मैं घर चले जाता था तो मुझे वो चीज़ पता नहीं चली तब मैं 
ऑस्ट्रेलिया लैंड हुआ तब मुझे पता चला कि डैड की बहुत ही सीरियस कंडीशन है तो तब वो सिचुएशन प्रोटोकॉल था कि कोविड मतलब क्वारंटाइन रहना है तो जा तो नहीं सकते देन विल फिर उसके बाद हम लोग प्रैक्टिस करें फिर उसी दिन मुझे पता चला कि ऐसा डैड की डेथ हो गई तो जब कोई आगे एक दूसरे से बात नहीं करता था क्योंकि जब क्वारंटीन के ऐसे सिचुएशन था तो दैट टाइम के मैं मॉम से ही बात कर रहा था तो वो टाइम पे मॉम मेरे को इतना स्ट्रांग बना है वो टाइम पे कि के एक वोमेंस का पावर कितना रहता तब पता चला कि वो वो सिचुएशन में भी अपने बेटे को इतना स्ट्रांग फीलिंग दे रही थी क्योंकि जब इतना मतलब घर का एक पिल्लर एक टूटना मतलब एक स्ट्रांग पिल्लर जब जाता है तो बहुत ही अफेक्ट पड़ता है तो वही तो मेरा डैड मॉम यही बोल रहे थे कि जो डैड का ड्रीम था कि अपने देश का नाम रोशन कर और जाके देश का नाम रोशन कर बस यही था कि मेरा मोटिवेशन कि मैं वहाँ जाऊँ मुझे पता भी नहीं था कि टू बी ऑनेस्ट कि मुझे चांस भी मिलेगा यहाँ पर खेलना क्योंकि सीनियर बॉलर से तो बस मैं यही सोचा कि मुझे कभी भी अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलेंगी वो चीज़ को ग्रैप करूँगा देन मुझे सेकेंड टेस्ट में मौका मिला तो वो चीज़ मतलब मैं जब मेलबर्न में जब कैब पे ना तो आई वॉज के डैड इधर रहते तो कितना be very proud of you like all of us are very proud of you sir as thank you for being the champion that you are and thank you for bowling the way that you bowl it was very very tough to do so and 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 there was just a lot of stuff going on in that tour that was away from just the ground itself there were we we're going to talk about the injuries but ajikya i want to ask you about um, even the racial slurs that um, that that were being said and that's never nice to hear obviously what was going on in the team then how did you deal with that the the racial uh, things being said Agar by crowd members aise kahi bhi nahi hona chahiye aur wo jab hua ground par ek do baar pehle aake siraj ne mujhe bataya tha aur jasprit ne bhi bataya tha mujhe ki aise aise hua hai to humne ja ke umpire se baat kari us waqt aur unko kaha ki racism ho raha hai hamare bando ko log aise aise keh rahe hain to next time unhone ja ke kaha ki agar waise dobara hota hai to aap hame aake bataiye to humne जब नेक्स्ट टाइम हुआ आ, हमने उनको जाके बताया और आ, बहुत बुरा लगा कि ऐसे सुन के कभी सोचा नहीं था कि ऐसे होगा स्पेशली हम जब अच्छा कर रहे थे और जब ऑस्ट्रेलियन क्राउड ने स्टार्ट किया रेसिजल अब्यूज करना सिराज मेरे पास आके उन्होंने कहा कि ऐसे ऐसे हुआ है हमने जाके अंपायर से बात करी और कहा कि ऐसे ऐसे दोबारा हुआ है आपको एक्शन लेना होगा हम लोग तब तक गेम नहीं खेलेंगे तो अम्पायर्स का कहना ये था कि अगर आप गेम बंद नहीं कर सकते अगर आपको अंदर जाना है ड्रेसिंग रूम में तो आप जा सकते हो तो हम मेरी बातचीत यही थी कि उनसे कि हम यहाँ पर खेलने के लिए आए हैं हमें अंदर जाके नहीं बैठना है आपका काम है जिन्होंने अब्यूज़ किया है आप उनको हटाइए हम खेलने के लिए तैयार हैं बट तब तक हम खेलेंगे नहीं हम लोग ग्राउंड पे खड़े रहेंगे फॉर मी इट वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू सपोर्ट माई कलीग ऑन द ग्राउंड क्योंकि जो अभी बात करी हमने कि स्पेशली हिम जिस सिचुएशन में वो था ऑस्ट्रेलिया में ओवरकम uh, करके आया और देन द वे ही प्ले so i thought that was important ki as a team we support him but what happened in sydney was uh, completely wrong it absolutely was uh, but again this this is a story of overcoming all the odds and and they truly did in every regard neeraj sir any questions that you have i know you know the entire series and the story is inside out if you <laughs> ask them a lot of the questions <laughs> i'm through <laughs> you're through then he's he's thorough I with with what he wants I to know but uh, but the fact is that we'd also want to ask them a few more questions just talking about the injuries now किंग्स मतलब एक के बाद एक इंजर हो रहे हैं बाहर जा रहे हैं ग्यारह बचे नहीं एंड में कि सिर्फ ग्यारह बचे एंड में व्हाट वाज इट लाइक एट द एंड टू चूज इलेवन एंड प्ले विद दैट एंड में मैं बस में बस में एक्चुअली देख रहा था टॉस जाने से पहले मतलब ग्राउंड जब जा रहे थे कि एक्चुअली ग्यारह है कि नहीं बस में हर एक गेम में दो बंदे इंजर्ड हो रहे थे पहले मैच में मोहम्मद शामी इंजर्ड हुए उसके बाद उमेश जडेजा बिहारी और अश्विन सिडनी टेस्ट मैच और बट इंजरी के साथ वो खेल रहे थे पुजारा और इंजर्ड इन बिटवीन इन सिडनी टेस्ट मैच और मैच के हर दिन फिजी ओके कहता था कि ये प्लेयर को कुछ निकल है ये प्लेयर इंजर्ड हुआ है और जब तक हम ब्रिजबेन में पहुँचे फिजियो मेरे पास चार प्लेयर्स के नाम लेके आए थे मैं और कोच उनके पास कि चार प्लेयर्स हमारे इंजर्ड है और दो प्लेयर्स को निकल है उनको हम ठीक कर सकते हैं इंजेक्ट करके तो हमने सोचा कि यार प्लेयर ही नहीं है और तीन चार दिन ही बचे थे टेस्ट मैच के लिए तो हमने फिजियो से बात करी और उनको कहा कि अगर जो दो प्लेयर्स उनको निकल है अगर उनको इंजेक्ट करके हम ठीक करते हैं तो ठीक है अगर 
प्लेयर्स फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंट भी फिट है दैट्स फाइन क्योंकि हमारे पास कोई ऑप्शन ही नहीं था जो नेट बॉलर्स भी आए थे वो वो भी ऑलरेडी टीम का पार्ट बन चुके थे और उनमें से दो प्लेयर्स ने डेब्यू किया था उस सीरीज में तो इट वॉज चैलेंजिंग बट जस्ट ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म आई आई वॉन्ट गिव क्रेडिट टू फिजी एज वेल क्योंकि उनका परफॉर्मेंस उनका जो काम है अननोटिस चले जाता है सारा क्रेडिट प्लेयर्स और उनको मिल जाता है जो स्क्रीन पे आपको दिखता है लेकिन फिजियोस का जो फिजियोस का जो काम था जिस तरीके से उन्होंने प्लेयर्स के ऊपर फोकस किया प्लेयर्स को ध्यान दिया मुझे याद है दो फिजियोस से हमारे साथ दो तीन रात सोए नहीं थे प्लेयर्स को हमेशा बताते थे कि आप आइसिंग करो एवरी आर तो आई थिंक क्रेडिट गोज टू दे मैच वेल उन्होंने पूरी टीम खड़ी करी करी और चौथे मैच तक जो रिजल्ट हुआ आई थिंक उनका क्रेडिट उनको भी जाता है incredible work that they do both for uh, for anyone to answer actually chetesh for you can answer going into the fourth test with the team that was there did you did you see give yourself a chance and what were you thinking of then watching the team go inside play well we definitely had a chance uh, yes i mean they were the favorites uh, to start off when we started off the test match but uh, the way uh, the younger players performed in second and third test match uh, that gave us a lot of belief uh, in the team and uh, yeah we were very confident that we can put up a good show we like on day one you can't say that you can win this game but uh, the most important thing was to start uh, the first and second session well i mean if you uh, do well in uh, first couple of days then you know you have that chance and that's what we did we our first session was really good there i think two or three down i don't know exactly uh, what was the score but we uh, kept picking wickets and uh, we restricted the, them to uh, i mean a reasonable total where we knew that we can get to that total uh, so uh, with this squad uh, with the young players around who performed well in second and third test match uh, we thought that we had our chances maybe we were not the favorites but uh, what we uh, i mean ajinkya also spoke about this what we uh, spoke was to give our best and not think about the results as long as we are giving our best we are trying to play to our potential and as long as we are confident of what we are doing and if we could uh, execute our game plans well then we had our chances and uh, i think that that is what happened i think most of the young guys took lot of uh, responsibility the way they have uh, handled the pressure uh, which was remarkable i think one of the best test matches i have been part of and uh, i i haven't uh, seen so many young players who have done well in in a in a particular series and th- that to in the last uh, particular test match that was incredible Again, we keep the claps going, guys, because every just you know every answer just bringing back such beautiful memories. And uh, Anuman ji, you will ask me what's the one thing you will never forget about playing in this Test series? The, the one thing you will keep in your heart always. I think uh, after the Sydney Test, the, uh, the walk back to the pavilion, you know, that felt so satisfying. You know, you're injured. Uh, uh, even Ashwin was not fit, and we both battled it out and. the walk back to the pavilion although it was hurting a little bit but uh, the satisfaction and the and the you know that that uh, feeling of saving a test match for india is incredible and i'll take i'll uh, cherish those moments and that uh, memory for a lifetime fabulous siraj aap se wo aakhri sawal koi ek yadgar pal jo sabse zyada aap apne dil ke paas rakhenge is series ko dekhte hue koi aisa pal जब मैं फाइव विकेट हॉल लेके जब बॉल ऊपर करके जब जा रहा था तो आई फील लाइक वो ड्रीम मेरे लिए तो वो सबसे कभी नहीं बोल सकता वो चीज जब इतने प्लेयर इंजर्ड होने के बाद जब पूरे यंगस्टर बस खाली तीन प्लेयर सीनियर थे बस उसे भाई के पूरे यंगस्टर थे तो वहां पर जाके परफॉर्मेंस करना लाइक वेल हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि ये ड्रीम आप दोबारा फुलफिल करते रहे क्योंकि आप में इतना टैलेंट है नाउ देर आउट हेयर ऑन स्टेज बट वी हैव अ स्पेशल मैसेज for all of them from cross borders as well so if we can turn around and look at our av screen right now there is a very special message for all of you and uh, it's by somebody who i think you played against uh, cheteshwar will remember him a little more uh, let's have a look at the av screen please good day everyone over there in india um i'm sorry i can't be there for the launch of the documentary uh but uh, what an amazing series it was um yeah the way it started in adelaide i think we Aussies thought we had it all wrapped up um and then yeah the obviously the fight that was shown uh through the second test jinko rahane uh hitting a great 100 through scg and then uh to finish off with the gabba it was a fantastic series to be part of um yeah i thought uh the the way 
Uh, the Indian side played it was incredibly brave. Um, you know, full credit to the, the, the players for for being brave enough to go after a result at the Gabba. They could have just played out for a draw to retain the trophy. They went after the win. Uh, fantastic series. Um, yeah, we we're outplayed on our home turf, unfortunately. But um, you know, every Indian Australian Test series is always fantastic. Uh, look forward to catching the documentary and uh, seeing behind the scenes. G'day everyone over there in India. Um, uh, I'm thank sorry you for I that. can't be there. I think it's for a loop now. Of the documentary. Uh, but Round of applause for him, guys. That's the opposition series. speaking um, of volumes. But yeah, what happens? After the match, it happens. But after the match, it happens. The intensity is different. Especially with Australia. We always say that we don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time. कैसे स्लेज करते हैं और उनका बेसिकली ये गेम प्लान ये जो स्ट्रेटजी होती है कि इंडियंस नहीं बाकी जो जिसके भी साथ अगेंस्ट में खेलते हैं कि उनको मेंटली कैसे हम टाइटल करें उनका फोकस कैसे हटाया जाए सिर्फ पुजारा का फोकस नहीं हटा सके वो लेकिन बाकी सब कोशिश कर रहे थे कि फोकस कैसे हटाया जाए लेकिन ऑफ द फील्ड दे आर रियली नाइस वेरी गुड पीपल I'll just add to that, Samir, the, uh, the interview that Payne and uh, Cummins, both of them are part of this documentary. Yeah. And uh, it's obviously easier for uh, them now to process that entire series in a different light uh, off the field and with time in hand. And the way they have spoken and uh, sort of uh, reviewed each of them is fantastic. They've, uh, for Pujara especially, uh, I mean, Payne went all out. And uh, for Rahane, for Siraj, Ashwin, Pant, Bihari, I mean, th these guys really spoke their heart out on the series. For, because somewhere down the line, you cannot discount this, uh, the love for the sport, yeah. I guess. So uh, with time in hand, we had that opportunity to revisit them and uh, have their take on this. Amazing. And also, you know, they, they, they play so much of the IPL. You guys play yeah. so much of the IPL with these guys from the overseas quarters. And then, but it's like complete switch of gear. The second you're at your home, it's a, it's a national, you know, war that's happening in terms of the cricket ground and you're playing against each other. So, you switch off ground to IPL. And then, when you switch off the ground, you switch off the ground. This is the same thing. But now, guys, what we're going to do out here is that we're going to have like an amazing uh, uh, throw of questions to you guys where you guys can ask your questions and... Uh, we have a QA session that we're going to open up. There are about, I think, a few people who have, you're going to have a mic around that's going to be passed. So if anybody has a question, kindly please raise your hand from anywhere in the crowd and you can ask your question. There's a gentleman here, please. Yeah. Uh, hi, guys. Thank you for sparing your valuable time with us. Uh, I have a question for all five of you and Neeraj, sir, as well. So please uh, give me some time, guys. Uh, don't be angry, angry at me. Uh, Depends sorry. how long, brother. Ab sawal puch lijiye pehle. I will not own the press conference that I guess. Uh, so uh, I'll start one by one. Ajink, आपका एक statement आया था right after the series की on field और off field जो आपने कुछ decisions लिए उसका credit किसी दूसरे लोगों को दिया गया तो what was it that you were actually upset about? Do you want to elaborate on that? Were you in any sense referring to a joint press conference that was held by you and Ravi Shastri right after the series? No, when I was talking to him, I said that I would always be present. That moment went on. The statement I had given, you can check online what the statement was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, Ashwin coming at you. Do you think that the Indian team was the best player? Yeah, be peaceful, brother. You, you, you are looking like me. You are looking like me. You are looking like me. You are coming at me. You are looking like me. You put Pujara in the middle. He's putting him on back foot. You are looking like Thalaiva right now. So, most probably we'll see a blockbuster, next blockbuster coming from Tamil Nadu, leading star. Ash, obviously, as Samir also mentioned that you had verbal volleys with Tim Payne in the Sydney test. So, was it kind of an, sort of an extra motivation to add throughout the day on the final day of the Sydney test? Did it act like that? So actually, it happens a lot when everybody is cricketing career. I'm sure you can check with everybody. But the point is, uh, when somebody is instigating you in such a situation, we, we both were battling ourselves uh, in the middle. I, I, I went in and I told Vihari the first thing, I just hope they don't bowl anything full. I just hope they bowl short so that I can get hit and probably get away with it. And as we were battling through our own pains and looking at the scoreboard, the situation and all that, he just, I think it was 
very fair. Even if I was Tim Payne wearing the gloves, I would have tried to, you know, intimidate the opposition. It was very fair on his behalf to try and do that, but it's it sort of uh, motivated me saying, okay, not should not leave or get out in front of this guy. Uh, I shouldn't be a prey to his, you know, verbal volley sort of a thing. And the moment I, I gave back, I felt like, oh my God, I shouldn't have done that because it might take the concentration away. Uh, but then I started, you know, just focusing a little harder to try and defend more uh, tighter after that. So, yeah, it happens all the time. I'm, I'm sure everybody has experienced it at different stages of their uh, cricketing career. Yeah, very memorable, but good for us. Well, two questions is enough. I think there are many more people who have to ask questions. They have a limited time, so we can pass the mic on. Some Thank you so much. Thank you. No, later on, you can ask them if you can catch them outside. All right, Hi. next question. Hi, my question is for Ashwin. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the racism incident. Um, so you address it head on this time. But the thing is, every time we go there, this this kind of happens, uh, uh, and and everyone condemns it. But it keeps on happening. Do, uh, do you th do you think we need to have the conversation in cricket a lot more, like it is being had in football right now? I think we should ha have the conversation as a world. It's not just in cricket or any other sport. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's it has to do anything with a particular a particular section of people in any particular country. Mm -hmm. Everywhere people do believe that they belong to a majority sort of a thing and they want to have a go at somebody else. Uh, and I think racism is one tip of it, one part of it, where they believe that is a that is an area of differentiation with someone. Uh, I think the, the only solution to all this is better parenting and better awareness. Just by just by talking at a, at a, you know maybe at the stage where we are in or in, in a stage like this or an event like this, we wouldn't necessarily make a difference. But with awareness and talking about it on a regular basis and better parenting right from the childhood, we can make the difference. So I think. Uh, it's not about a certain certain country or a certain crowd. Yes, it's happened at the ground, at that ground, at that place a lot more. But it was courageous of him to bring it out. So at least a wider section of the people know and probably the people sitting next to such pe people in the ground might pull them up uh, a lot better from the next time. So it is something that is uh, that one must condemn. Uh, but I, I want to bring it to notice that everywhere people are differentiating people on different grounds which is definitely not right. So I, I had Thank you question. for your question, buddy. We'll, we'll pass it on. There are more people who have to ask as well. Thank you. Hello. Uh, please, please give me your name and then ask the question. Hi, hi, hi. Ajinkya, this is Vishal Ammani. My question is, what happened in the test in 36 for 9, and uh, Australia won 8 wickets. And coming back to Melbourne, it uh, was a very difficult situation. You were in the first inning, mein, uh, Virat और आपके बीच में run out भी हुआ and Virat के fans ने काफी आपको troll भी किया था और Virat फिर वहाँ से India आ गए और फिर आप uh, आपने captaincy नहीं भाई so was it difficult for you uh, how you have taken that challenge नहीं मुझे पता भी नहीं था कि मुझे troll किया गया <laughs> मैं social media से complete off uh, series के दौरान या series से पहले मैं complete switch off कर देता हूँ uh, actually मुझे idea नहीं था कि fans ने क्या क्या कहा है जो जो moments हम दोनों गुजरे उस वक्त I don't think किसी और को हुआ होगा क्योंकि विराट रन आउट होने के बाद जितना दुख उनको हुआ रहेगा उससे ज्यादा दुख मुझे हुआ था क्योंकि जिस सिचुएशन में हम थे उस टेस्ट मैच में आई थिंक वो मोमेंट के बाद टेस्ट मैच कंप्लीटली चेंज हो गया सो फैंस ने क्या किया मुझे नहीं पता था बट वो सिचुएशन से और वो मोमेंट से हम दोनों को बहुत दुख हुआ था नीरज जी मेरा एक और सवाल आपसे है आप ये इसका टाइटल बंदों में था दम हमारे बंदों में तो अभी भी है सर तो बंदों में है दम ऐसा क्यों नहीं रखा सर आपने नहीं ये एक मिनट एक मिनट सॉरी आपने जो कहा कि विराट के फैंस अजिंक्य को ट्रोल किया ना वही वही सवाल था ना आपका यस यस आई होप दैट नो नॉट ओनली विराट फैंस बिकॉज़ विराट जिस तरह से विराट का लास्ट नहीं दैट वाज दैट वाज ऑब्वियसली द Right. We, we play for the same country and hopefully this documentary will change that landscape. I really hope so. Sir, I think we'll pass the we'll pass the question now. Next person, sir. Ne ne next person. One, one second. Sir, brother, you, you've well, asked. Many more people you have to ask. Many more people you have to ask, please. Piche maha par, haan ji. Ji, namaskar. Bhoot bhoot chup kaam na hai. Neeraj, aapko aap film bana rahe hai. और काफी महान कलाकार हैं मैं संदीप मिरर नाव से नीरज मेरा सवाल स्पेसिफिकली आपसे ये है कि जो क्रिकेट इन्होंने खेला है जो मैच इन्होंने ड्रॉ किए जो जिताए हैं वो पहले से ही दर्ज हैं 
आप इस प्रकार की डॉक्यूमेंट्री बना करके क्या अलग कर रहे हैं और वो भी ओ टी टी वूड पर आप बना रहे हैं तो अलग क्या कर रहे हैं आप इसमें क्या दर्शाना चाह रहे हैं so, तीन चीज़ों से कहानी बनती है वॉट हाउ एंड वाई वॉट हैपन्ड वो ये सबको पता है हमारा जो प्रयास था वो ये था कि हाउ एंड वाई को एड्रेस किया जाए ये इतना आसान नहीं है कि आप खाली आप सिर्फ बॉल टू बॉल क्रिकेट देखते हैं आपको लगता है आपको पूरी कहानी पता चल गई है उसके पीछे का जो मानसिकता होती है एक टीम कैसे बिल्ड होती है वो टीम कैस किन सर्कमस्टांसिस में अपने आप को खड़ा करती है और किन दिक्कतों के अगेंस्ट जाकर जो है वो जीत हासिल करती है यही प्रयास था हमारा और मेरे ख्याल से आपको सिर्फ रिजल्ट का पता है प्रोसेस का नहीं और ये डॉक्यूमेंट्री जो है आपको उस दिशा में लेकर जाए इसी से इसी से जुड़ा हुआ एक ही सवाल है आ, समीर माफी चाहता हूँ आप डॉक्यूमेंट्री के अलावा एक फिल्म बना सकते थे क्रिकेट पर फिल्में बनी हैं लोगों पर फिल्में बनी हैं सीरीज पर भी, भी बनाई है हाँ जी मैंने खुद भी बनाई है हाँ जी आपने ही बनाई है मैं मैं वही कह रहा हूँ आप फिल्म बना सकते थे आपने इस प्रकार की डॉक्यूमेंट्री को ही क्यों चुना नहीं फिल्म बना ली ना तो इस बार डॉक्यूमेंट्री बना ली नहीं अगली बार दोबारा फिल्म बना देंगे डायरेक्टर वो टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन बड़ा वाजिब सवाल है आपका पॉइंट ये है कि ये अपने आप में मेरे ख्याल से इतना बड़ा माइलस्टोन है और ये पूरा चार्ट का जो सीरीज है वो अपने आप में इतनी बड़ी एक स्पोर्टिंग इवेंट है कि मेरे ख्याल से इसको रिक्रिएट करना विल बी एन इनजस्टिस टू द एक्चुअल गेम दैट हैपन एंड देर इज नो टेकिंग अवे एनी सीन फ्रॉम द प्लेयर्स दैट वर इन्वॉल्व देर ट्वेंटी प्लेयर्स इन्वॉल्व फ्रॉम द इंडियन टीम इन दोज फोर टेस्ट मैच एंड इट्स इट्स नॉट दैट इट हैपन्स इन एवरी सीरीज सो Uh, for me it was very important to document this in the most entertaining and the thrilling manner we're going to pass the mic on that side i think nobody's asked so many questions on there one last time if somebody can pass the mic that side we have a lot of questions from this side one last question from that side please hi shridhar here so I, uh, this is open to every cricketer here so how tough was it to play during the strict quarantine rules in australia maybe we can just throw some light on that uh look it it was tough it was uh, challenging for all the players uh, to play cricket during quarantine and uh, especially in australia where uh, rules were uh, a lot stricter than the other countries uh and i'm sure uh, most of the players will agree that uh, to quarantine and then you know start practicing again you lose lot of your fitness you lo uh, start losing your rhythm as well as as players so you need to i mean those 4 uh, 5 or 7 days are probably the toughest for all the players although we have little bit of facilities nowadays i mean now there is no quarantine in, uh, anymore but even in when when we are in india we still get provided some facilities where we could do a uh, little bit of strength in our uh, in our room uh, there is a cycle available where we can do some training but when we are in australia i think uh, we couldn't do that uh, for first few days uh, so to play in a bubble to uh, play matches and then uh, at the end of days play uh, once you are back from uh, from a match even if you want to go out for a dinner you can't just go out we we were but uh, actually that helped us a lot i would say because most of the times uh, you know in the evenings we used to sit in the team room and ha have our meals together uh, we used to play some uh, games in the team room so actually that helped us uh, get together uh, the team bonding was even more uh, during quarantine uh, so there are positives and negatives of it but for us i think there were there were more positives when we were sitting together uh, chit chatting about the game or something else uh, so i i feel that uh, we we had more positives but mentally yes it is challenging and it is tough for us Well, thank you all for your questions, uh, and I know there are many more to be asked, but we're on a time count uh, as there are other things to be done as well. But for right now, we have a, a nice big bat that we're going, get, we're going to be getting out on this very stage. We request all of you to please, uh, please sign it. Post which there'll be a photo op for which we're going to be calling Gaurav and Farzad back on stage. If we can have the bat, please on stage. Give a hand in doing it.
While they're doing that, I'm going to request Gaurav and Prasad, please come up on stage. We're going to have a... Now we're going to get all the photographers. Please, you can come up in the front, this side, and, and gear up for a photograph. We're going to have a combined photograph of everybody on this very stage. Thank you so much. Neil, sir, if you could please join all our wonderful cricketers. If you can please... Well, the great stories from our Yodhas who battled it out in Australia. Here it is, click away. So there you have it folks. Thank you so much for being out here. A big round of applause. Farzad, for Gaurav, from Boot, thank you all so much for being part of this wonderful occasion. Wishing you all the best.